Hey guys, still here. Good evening. Or good afternoon. Good morning. Maybe deeply, deeply into the night that you're watching this. At any rate, welcome to this stream. Um, first up, audio check. Always good to do with a new game. Can you guys hear me properly? Because sometimes the game volume is too loud, sometimes the game um, is not loud enough. Let me know. How's the game volume? Should I turn it up? Turn it down? Because we do have a few options here. Can hear you perfect. Okay, excellent. Audio 5x5, excellent. Now, welcome to Carrier Command 2. This is uh, one of the most innovative menus that I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> thing is created by Microprose, or at least developed by Microprose. Uh, sorry, maybe not developed, but published by. So they have their own neat little screen. We have the Quit to Desktop buttons, uh, Profile, Game, and Options. We also have a language setting. Do we have anything else here? Yeah, more macro pros. Seriously, it's not VR, but it kind of feels like VR. So this is going to be um, very much a learning stream for me. I have tried this game, but I couldn't really make a whole lot of sense of it. So you're definitely going to be learning with me. Uh, if there are things that you think I'm doing completely wrong, please point them out in chat. I'm eager to learn. I'm eager to see what this game is about and how I can do better. Always up for learning, so long as it's constructive criticism. So, let's have a start. Uh, by the way, there is no multiplayer as of right. Actually, I can host or join. Um, supposedly, that's a way that you can also play with others and make sure that you have the crew. And a crew can then combine, uh, or can be combined, to command an aircraft carrier. Because that's what this game is all about. Commanding an aircraft carrier. You can do it solo, but of course it is more fun with a flight crew. Let's start. New game. A uh, campaign. Here we go. There is multiplayer. Yeah, exactly. Now it has this sort of... I don't know if MS-DOS is the right phrase for it, but it has this sort of old-ish vibe to it. And it's like you're loading stuff again on one of those old Window 3. Point, or sorry, Windows 3.1 PCs where you actually had to type, I think it was Win <laughs> um, in MS-DOS in order to get Windows to load. Anyway, welcome. Welcome to Courier Command 2 Playtest. This is a demo version of the full game. As such, many features have been disabled to make it easier for us to manage feedback and to improve the core gameplay. This is an, an open demo. It's not something that I particularly have access to. It is something you can just find on Steam, and I have it linked in the description of this live stream. So if you want to play along, if you want to uh, maybe at some point during the stream we can do a multiplayer test, um, well, go ahead. It's not a locked beta, but it will be for, I think, the duration of the Steam festival or whatever it is. Um, it's going to be down, I think, Wednesday. Tuesday or Wednesday, so be quick. Activate the power breaker. We appear to be on the... Well, we're not launched yet. Power breaker. Switch. Alright, use the helm. Very well. And use the navigation screen. To deploy the carrier. And off we go. There. We have now been launched. Um, this aircraft carrier is remarkably quick. I was quite astonished by that during the playtest. Or during the, the small test that I did. Because a normal aircraft carrier, I think, can do what? 30, 35 knots? And that's pushing it. 35 knots for an aircraft carrier it has to have some sort of nuclear propulsion but this thing could fairly there we go 39 45 50 knots let's floor it let's see what we can do 75 knots 90 knots <laughs> this is absolutely nuts this is 100 knots <laughs> that's about three times the fast or three times as fast as a normal aircraft carrier also, um, on a normal aircraft carrier, if I'm not mistaken, the island, so the command tower, is on the starboard side of the ship. This one has it on the port side of the ship, so that's a different design. Right, 
Uh, open the pause menu. We are here, I think. Open the help menu. Select the help tab. Navigate to the enemy island. Or to an enemy island. So that's what they want me to do. And considering where we are, I think we need to be turning towards one of these islands. Let's do that. Escape means go out. Can I configure any of these displays to have a separate loadout or a separate view? Yeah, it seems so. So over here I have the, the most zoomed out view. This one is slightly more zoomed in. And this one's pretty much fully zoomed in. So are there enemy aircraft carriers? I don't believe so. I believe that the game currently does not feature any other aircraft carriers because of the playtest. Alright. Decrease throttle to stop the carrier. Look at that. It stops instantly as well. My car stops slower than that. Arm the main gun. Yes. Ah, there. Let's get in the pilot seat. Flare fire. Main gun armed. Check. Use the helm. Why? What do you want me to do? Decrease throw. I did. Oh, not fully. Yeah, it's because I used S to try and get away. W and S to try and move away from the con. And that actually put the carrier at three knots. Right. Use the viewing scope. This is the viewing scope. You would say that this thing is developed in 2021. Set the camera control to manual. Uh, R. Enable stabilization. That was T. We got here then. Observe the enemy island. There's something moving there, but I can't tag it yet. Okay, it might be slightly too far away. It looks like some sort of lava flow in this island. Can we tag these yet? I don't have a line of sight to these things. Oh. What? No, I didn't tag them. I have no idea where they are. <laughs> Playtest. Um, yeah. What am I trying to shoot? Because there's nothing out here. Alright, let me get out of the viewing scope. Let me get back to the helm. And I understand how this is going to be interesting to have a crew on. Decreased throttle. Yeah, not quite yet. Because from my current position, I cannot see anything. Are we attacking Iceland? Um, it's very flat for Iceland. I'm not sure where we're supposed to be. Offline. AA status. Okay. And that is alarm status. Alarm on. That's your alarm? Okay. That's a very, very gentle alarm. Alright. Slow down. Let's see if I can spot the vehicles from here. Uh, R, T. Anything? I really can't see anything. Uh, anyway, cycle to the next weapon. Cycle weapon. CRR gun. So that's a carrier gun. Fire the carrier gun. Support cancel. No. Ah, there we go. Exit the viewing scope. Ah, we hit something apparently. Deploy all surface vehicles near enemy island. Do that over here. Pilot seat. And deploy Sierra 3, 1, 2, and 4. So that's surface, and that's aerial units, and something else, I imagine. Wait for the surface vehicles to deploy. Since this is a first-person game, I don't think that there's any way for me to show the launch of those vehicles. Even though that is something I would like to see. We are here. 
And this island has some sort of radar dish on it. And not a whole lot else, it seems. The island's called Elwood. We're invading Elwood. You can select them and enter the camera for the drones. Oh, I didn't know that. Camera. Ah. Okay. And then you can take manual control of a vehicle. Oh, that's all the better. Especially considering you can do this with a multi-crew. Cool. Okay, so we're going to let the vehicle take care of that. I'm not sure if I deployed all of them. Yeah, I didn't deploy one of them because the demo is holding on something. I can exit the carrier. Or, or sorry, I can walk around on the carrier. Exit via the doors. <laughs> I tried that during a playtest. I jumped overboard and I couldn't get back on. And that's when I thought, you know what? This is fine. <laughs> I'm going to play something else. Drag the deployed vehicles to place waypoints. You're going to go there. Virus boats. Capture the island using seal and virus boats. So I can just drop you or drag you guys over. That's one waypoint. Can I have this thing? Yeah, I can have this thing zigzag. Oh, you can even make fairly elaborate maneuvers. Wait for Command Alpha, wait for Bravo, etc. Nice. All right, new objective, go directly for the island. There's one here, another SEAL unit. So what's a SEAL unit? Camera. This is what the camera can see. That's our carrier. Maybe we can spot these guys if we leave the the command center. Open. So this should be off the starboard side, right? Uh, here, round. They can get stuck in the hangar after deployment. Oh. Is that a torpedo launcher or an anti-air missile? It looks more like a torpedo launcher. Oh, I think that might be one of the crafts. This is its wake. And there's another one. And there's another one. If you go overboard, right mouse to respawn on the bridge. Cool. That's going to be useful. Thank you, Tarsus. Uh -huh. I'm not sure exactly that's how torpedo tubes work, but okay. We'll throw that down to the playtest. We can deploy air drones for recon and bombing with the right console. Okay, nice. Can we also get down to the hangar? Yes. Ah, drones. So we just launched our stuff from this bay. Which means that, yes, we're a carrier. But we're maybe more of an, an LHD, a landing helicopter dock, or an amphibious landing trans, or an amphibious uh, landing ship. Yeah, and these are our Reaper-ish drones. Ooh, Reaper got new guns and missiles, and a whole lot of pylons for additional weapon systems. Nice. Shouldn't weapons be on the side of the ship and not on top of it as an aircraft carrier as an aircraft can deviate from the landing lane and crash into it. Yes. Um I'd say that's a fair point. I think that would be a really bad thing to happen. What's this then? Not sure. Something's shooting. I need to get back to the bridge. How do I do that? I can't jump. Too dark. Yeah, I know. It's too dark for me, too. Uh, is there anything I can do about that? Game options, graphics... Gamma. It's gonna help a bit. It's not quite how it should look. Jump overboard and respawn. <laughs> 
Doors over to the port side. Okay, let's see if there's an actual way to get up. Ah, here. Got it. Oh, that's much better. Okay. Uh, do I also want to do that here? Yes, much better. It's uh, even a bit much with the gamma. Okay, so we're back on the carrier deck. Jeez, we're tilting a lot. Come on. Up to the bridge. There we go. So we're capturing the island. What does it look like? Yeah, our guys are in contact, I think. So I want you guys to move up, I guess. Oh, they're getting wiped out. We need to assist those. Because at this rate, we won't have any drones soon. Uh, manual. Yeah, there's definitely some shooting going on there. Let's see. Uh, cycle weapon. Zulu. That's the gun. Support complete. There. Requesting support. Firing on that target. This better not be one of my drones, though. Although, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm actually blowing up my own drones. That's friendly. Oh. Well, that's a great start. That one, however, might not be. Ooh. What's doing this damage, though? That one? I think I need to hold off for it to select it. Enemies turn red. Okay. As I was saying, I'm very much learning what's going on with this. So this thing is hostile, correct? Just so I don't blow up another friendly. There we go. Support complete. You should check your map if it's friendly. That's a good point. Mm. Move in. Move in from this side. Not sure what those bars next to the vehicle mean. Must be some sort of health bars or ammo bars. Fuel, maybe? x dunes are friendly. Diamonds are enemy. Ah. That's useful to know. Ammo 48, fuel, and hit points. Okay, so that's what the bars mean. But how does one capture... Maybe use a drone to recon some support. Yeah. But the tutorial is mostly saying, hey, I need you to launch the vehicles, not so much launch the drones. But uh, let's throw up a drone. Let's launch A1 and A2. This is the crane status. So you can have three buddies controlling the various vehicles. There's a panel under the helm you need to use to complete the mission. Under the helm? Side thrusters, engine stop, engine start. You can even up and down the brightness, that's neat. Fuel, engine temp, engine RPM. Maintain heading, steering lock, nav lights. Headlights? Right. How does that work? 
Why does my carrier have headlights to begin with? It's not a car. Ah, there's our drone. Who is screaming? The neighbors. Those people are mental. Okay, so we're launching our Reaper drone. This seems like a really short flight deck for a drone. What the fuck's going on in the background? Neighbors. There we go. You thought that was Quinn? No, thankfully not. I'm gonna close the window. This is nuts. Absolutely nuts. There we go. The ship cannot be crewed by one man? Sure. Because it seems to be working. It's just not easy, but it kind of works. Barge. Albatross. Camera. There we go. Uh, give me manual camera control. Oh, manual control the vehicle. Let's not do that. Show the map. The drone is heading that way. Okay, give me manual control. Let's see if we can recon the island a little better. We can also see the two blips that are apparently our drones. Come on. I'm totally gonna stall this thing. Power through. There we go. Good drone. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Up, 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 up. Are they the neighbors with the poisoned cat? Yes. The ones who came up with a crazy story about cats being poisoned. Hide them out. Uh, up, down, throttle. Full throttle. How well do these things take off on water, you think? What if I give them to auto control? Are they gonna take off? Probably not. Press 1 for manual camera control after putting it on autopilot. Hmm. I think this drone is uh, dosed. And with the other albatross, is that any better? That one? Albatross 2? Am I going to do a review? Uh, potentially. But there isn't that much to review yet. Because currently it is very much a demo that will not be available for very long. Okay, so that's power on the left. Turn. Come on. Don't stall the drone. Whoop. Left and right is yaw. This is why I don't do flying simulators. Already made a jingles landing on the water. Auto. There. Good. So, select attachment. That's... Cannon. Missile, missile, cannon, cannon. Uh, manual. There we go. That's more like it. So the X's are friendly. Which is not always too usual for your X. Uh, there, go <laughs> there goes our crashed albatross. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> Alright, so... I think I might need to restart this at this rate. Because I'm not sure if the vehicles that I have right now are capable of completing the objective. Hmm. Um. Can I have these guys do something useful? Like capture? 
Or do I need to clear out the rest of the island? That's our crashed albatross. Now, hopefully this is going to loop it. That was a good idea. And let's see what... What's the other albatross, I think? Is there any way to recall that thing? Like, you get back to the carrier? He's probably going to swim back to the carrier. But hey, as long as it does it, I'm fine. You can deploy the virus. Not if I don't have any. So, I currently might not even be able to complete the mission. Because I do not have the virus drones. Um, I think we might have to start over with this. Because without those drones, I can? Oh. It needs the exercise to swim back. You still can. Okay, how do I do that? Should we send the marines? Probably. I think we might need the marines, because uh, with my seamanship it's not going to work too well. Don't I have more drones in the stockpile? I don't know. That's something you would normally assume. But it does not seem like I can deploy any more drones. The ones that I could deploy are deployed. Rearm it with the virus. Logistics. Left console. Transmission. Power. Inventory logistics. Uh, that's ammo, large munitions. They got a lot of weapon systems. Utility, virus control unit. Sonic pulse generator, smoke launcher. An explosive smoke launcher? Okay. Walrus chassis. All-purpose vehicle. Okay. Um... I'll take one. Please. Back. Let's see, is that top list, uh, the middle thing, is that ordered? Pending order, yes. So, does that mean that I get them delivered? You get the ship by Amazon, I don't know. Maybe they deliver to aircraft carriers now. Seal chassis, walrus chassis, bear chassis. So you got three different vehicles for surface combatants. Or surface vehicles, not even combatants. Uh, Albatross, Manta, Razor Bill, and Petrol. Okay. Smaller screen. Ah! Would you look at that? Chassis. Select chassis. I can't select the second chassis. I got one aerial unit. The other one apparently got splashed. You need to select chassis. Okay. Surface. Sele ah! There we go. Walrus. Check. It's getting fueled up. And then... So that's the surface combatant. Does this thing come with that virus module? Or do I need to equip that? Center of it. Ah, thank you. So this is how you can equip it. Missile array. Virus bots. Yes, I'll take those. Oh, and these are other hard points. Right, so you can assemble your own vehicles here, in essence. You can say, I want a fixed camera on there, I want an observation camera on there, I want IR countermeasures on that. I want to have uh, smoke launchers. Interesting. Okay, so it's fueled up, its health is full, it has plenty of ammo, so it should be good to go. Does that mean it can deploy a new vehicle? Yes. Excellent. 
Now what I'm curious about is, can I see that thing get launched at my launching, or my, my dock? Because that's where it was, or at least that's where I would think it would, whoops, would begin. There's another drone. Yeah, I think it's down there. I think it's down there. Okay, good. So we have our vehicle deployed. Now to get back to the bridge and tell it to go and capture that island. Because I managed to mistake friendlies for hostiles or the other... Oh no, hostiles for friendly... No. Yeah, I, I thought friendlies were hostiles. And I ended the blood on the way with the gun. A gun on an aircraft carrier is also somewhat unusual. Where does this lead? Oh, they got crew cabins. That's nice. Starboard side of the ship. So I need to get to the bow. There we are. And this is the captain's seat. Gotcha. Mode cartographic. Wind. Ooh. Look at that. That's nice. I'll take the ocean depth. So I know not to get stuck on some sort of sandy patch. Alright. So, our little virus bots need to get over there. You. Camera. I'm not going to be manually controlling this thing because I don't trust myself with it. It has fuel, hit points, speed. Five, what? Five kilometers an hour? Five knots? Five and a half? That seems awfully slow, actually. Yeah, and the rest of the hard points are empty, so those don't work. Got it. There's a self-destruct panel on the floor by the helm. Oh. This thing is running at full speed, but it... It seems so slow relative to the carrier. Let's see, is our Alpatrol still up there? Yeah. So what can we see from you? Come on. There. Um... Select attachment, the gimbal, manual control over the gimbal, there. And our carrier is here, and our other drone is down there. That's our new walrus, with the virus. we got an albatross parked, and the carrier itself is parked, and the drone is now moving on to its next waypoint. Got it. we got one SEAL team over there, and one over there. Or a SEAL unit, I suppose. Hit T twice on the gimbal. Much smoother. Thank you. That was stabilization. Seems to be some sort of production area. Maybe a refinery or such. That's communications array. This looks like molten lava or something. There's also another island, or several out there. And here's the drone. Tarsus got banned? What? <laughs> Hold on. I think I might need to interfere in my stream software. <laughs> what the hell? Hold on. Uh, what happened during the stream that got Tarsus banned? Tarsus was timed out for 600 seconds. I think I'm going to have to turn my Nightbot off. There. Nightbot no longer moderator. Um, Do 
Participants. Curious. Anyway, at this point I'm hoping that my drone's almost there. Yeah, there it is. Moving towards. Happy to multiplayer. Yeah, I think that would be great. Doing a bit of multiplayer after. To see how that works. I tried multiplayer with... Um, what was that game? Was it U-Boat? No, Wolfpack. That was it. Wolfpack. And that got quite... Huh. Um, it got quite weird. Because some people decided to start doing all sorts of tasks. But once we settled into it, once we had, for example, one designated sonar man, one designated diving officer, navigation officer, and you really communicated properly, then it got interesting. Because I think it is... It is tricky with this type of game. On the one hand, yes, I like the whole interaction with multiple people doing different things. On the other hand, you don't really want to have one person then going off and doing all the tasks, for example, without communicating with the rest. Games like these highlight how important communication is. There's the walrus. Oh no, what are you doing? The walrus, like the good little bug that it is, managed to drop off the island, and I think it's melting in the lava. What are you doing? Dead. <laughs> well done. <laughs> okay. So maybe have the bot go up through here, there's a wider patch, navigate around, and then get to the comms tower. Because this... <laughs> didn't go too well. Alright. Um, let's see if I can do that again. Get out of this section. And... Load out another vehicle. Select chassis. I'll take another walrus. I'll take the virus bots again. Starting to fuel up. This game looks stressful at times. Yeah. I have no luck with bots. <laughs> I think it's quite the other way around. The bots have no luck with me. Because I was able to shoot two of my bots before realizing I was targeting friendlies. Where can you get the game? Link down below in the description. You can get it as a demo currently. Alright, so Sierra 1 is once again ready. Let's get up and launch the guy. Deploy it. Since I've already messed this thing up several times, I, whoops. I might as well do it again. Hold your patrol route. Thank you. I need to have this guy here selected. Center to vehicle, no camera. Let's take manual control. Manual. Um, why is it there? Vehicle control. You'd think. Up and down used to be thrust. It is not. Left and right. Doesn't do anything either. What the hell? Okay, fine. Ah, there we go. It was an auto control. My bad. WNS is throttle. Alright, I'll just manually have to drive this thing over. There's our carrier, by the way. Uh, that's the comms array we're heading for, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, it's the lava over there. This game is slow without others. Yeah, it seems that way. I imagine it might be very interesting to play this with other people, against other people. To see who has the best carrier crew and the best tactics and such.
You like the 64-bit PlayStation 1 style graphics? Yeah, I suppose they're not going to appeal to everybody. Alright, so I'm heading slightly more to the left to see if I can get up to that safer patch and then do a move around. And I like the game. Uh, it's interesting. Um, there's a ton for me to learn. So I'm still trying to figure out what to do uh, and how not to wreck my own bots, how to be a bigger risk to my own units than the enemy is. Because currently I am not that successful with capturing this island, which... If I play this thing again in a couple of weeks after I've had a bunch of practice, it's probably going to be very, very easy. And this will make me look absolutely stupid. What I don't get, though, is why these things are so slow. Maybe it's because they're... I suppose they're amphibious vehicles. I suppose they're more like cars which can accidentally also float. And maybe... Yeah, I wonder how fast this thing is gonna go on land. Amphibious is always slow, yeah. Looks like Stormworks wave, yes. A bit like those, where they seem more like triangles than anything else. Seals seem to be a bit faster. Okay. So maybe I should have picked those. Same devs as Stormworks? Are you sure? Seals are lighter vehicles. Ah. Yeah, the indicator on the left is my speed. So I'm currently doing about six, six and a half, either knots or kilometers. I'm not sure what the, the metric is here. It is the same devs, different team, same studio. Ah. Okay. In that case, it's going to be quite interesting. Because I'm not really too happy with where Stormworks is heading. It's one of the reasons why I didn't follow the game much. Or why I didn't feature the game much. Because they seem to be much, much more focused on the whole... Uh, let's put guns on these things and not the what I think is the core of the game, which is the adventures, the stories, the, the multiplayer aspect and doing rescues. Rescues that the game throws at you instead of you having to look in the workshop to get new missions. Oh, whoa. Well, we're setting our first wheels ashore I think let's see if I can drive better than the AI which considering their utter lack of mobility and their fantastic ability to get themselves stuck in lava shouldn't be too hard even for me it's because most people who voted what to add to Stormworks yeah which I think is a vocal minority. Which is what you have in most games. You got the, the 5 to 10% really devo devout, shall we say, player base. That. Oh, sorry about that. Um, that player base can get really excited about their game and know exactly what direction to take. And then they sort of take over the game of sorts. And I don't mind them adding weapons to Stormworks, even though it is not really in line with what I think the game needs. Because the game is about rescuing people. The game is about, let's say, Coast Guard activities. And it is not very much about what weapons you need to put on your Coast Guard cutter or, well, at that point, maybe STRB-90s. All right. Let's see if I can traverse this. I think this is the part where the drone fell off. Slow. Slow. 
there. Okay, I'm here. Now, how do I deploy the drones? The virus bots. Oh, this is another vehicle. Yeah, that explains why these things are not quick. This explains it. Because they are very much wheeled vehicles which accidentally swim. Not boats which accidentally drive. Select the drones, manual mode, fire. Okay. Don't shine that light in my eyes. Uh, select the drones, that would be two. Fire. And then nothing happened. Oh, hold on. No, there's something ticking on the left-hand side. It's a counter. I think it's percentage. We're 10% capping. Right. So, 18% capped. Now I wait. Ah, okay. So, let's see what my other vehicle looks like then. Because... I now have them parked side by side, so if I take the seal and view it from there, I can see what the other guy looks like. Hmm. Um, vehicle control. Oh, this is the virus drone capsule. Right. And this thing, there we go, manual control. Can I zoom in? It can shoot, it has ammo 118. So either I sent it into battle half empty or it killed something all on its own accord. Right. What I would very much like in this game is a feature that has me look at a vehicle and then press something and then put me in that vehicle because that way I can very quickly switch vehicles instead of having to go all the way back here and then going back there just to sort of jump me into that we are 90% capped 96 97 98 99 done Okay. So that's me done then? I imagine that's the self-destruct button. Or something. Hold on, something weird is going on with my PC, I think. There we go. So does this conclude the whole thing that I need to do. Like, congratulations, you captured an island. Boom, done. Now I wait for them to hack. I did that. Oh, hold on, my chat's catching up. Uh, Is that the nuke panel? Probably. There's still several more islands. Yeah, that's true. Because uh, we got four more islands to cap. Okay. Um, let's see if I can recall my vehicles. And how one would go about doing that. You. Even though I don't fully trust you to not make a fool out of yourself when it comes to navs. I do want to try and have you drive here. Then there. Then there. Then into the island, or into the water, and then back to the carrier. You, get back to the carrier, because you're running low on fuel. Uh, this seal goes there, here. Uh, avoid the lava streams and then go back. And then our little walrus. Can I have it to follow? Follow that guy? It seems to be trying to follow. That might work. I can get the carrier closer. Yeah, that's a good point. 
That way I can make sure that the, the pickup goes faster. Also a fantastic way to run the carrier ground, probably. Push depth. I need to zoom in. Thank you. Starboard. Hard to start again. Slow down. Not too far. I want to see if I can squeeze through these islands. If not, we're going to experience what it's like to be running aground. What do the colors even mean? Uh, this is deep water. And the brighter it gets, the shallower it is. At least that's the way that I'm understanding it. Collision. Really? There's not an active collision though, is there? We'll stop. Yeah, it's giving me a warning, it's not giving me a collision. Is that the drone coming back? Yeah, it has to be because it didn't launch any. Yep, there it is. Air sea radar. You said it's uh, 5,000 meters, 10,000 meters. Alright. What's that then? Where are the other drones? Straight line, please, gentlemen. What's this vehicle doing? Hello, what are you up to? You got fuel, so you should be fine. Is it stuck on something? No. It moves, but... I have to motivate it. Okay. see. I think I need to head a bit more west. Pretty much jump directly off the island. Avoid any kind of hot metal, aka lava, and then get back to the CV. Or is it really a CV? I mean, it's a carrier, but not necessarily an aircraft carrier. It also carries drones. Here we go. Splash. MFIP mode engaged. Whoa. Give me stabilization mode, thank you. There. So that should be our CV down there in the distance. Map. Yeah, there we go. I wonder if I can drive this thing back into the carrier dock myself. It's an assault carrier. Yeah. How's the sound? Sounds not too bad. Gun sounds seem okay. What I would like on this particular weapon is an auto zoom, or at least a zoom feed. Oh. Looks for zoom, and it actually exists. There we go. One, two, three, back. Alright, there we go. Lighting is terrible. Yeah, this is with the increased gamma setting. So I already upped the gamma setting to see if that is going to help. Not that much. Not that much. Now, from what I heard from Rikopros, in the full game, it's going to be other carriers as well. So there should be more carriers and uh, hostile carriers that you can fight. One, two, three. 
It seems like a pretty small carrier. Maybe I'm wrong, but it doesn't seem that big. Up to 16 players on a single aircraft carrier? How are you going to coordinate that, and how are you going to get everyone a job? Because right now I see a few. I see, for example, the Helms officer, which is going to be one uh, who just drives the carrier. Then it's going to be some three people, for example, who are going to be in control of the vehicles, the drones, and uh, the aerial units. And then you have maybe a weapons officer for the ship. Uh, so that's five. The captain directs everybody, that's six. And I suppose that's maybe a logistics, seven. But being the captain might be really boring because you're just sitting there in your seat. And you're trying to coordinate the whole bunch. Which, well, good luck with that. What would 16 people in the voice channel do? <laughs> Make a mess? Alright. Each controller drone. There are only three con uh, drill control stations from what I've seen. So, the way that I am interpreting that is that you can only have three drones to control. You can have more drones, and people can direct drones, but you can manually only take control of them. Ah, oh, they got vehicle bays here. So there's one, there's two. There's eight vehicle bays, but I think in the demo you can only have four of these vehicles launched. Actually, maybe not. Exit. Uh, and you are? Wait. What are you doing? Oh, you're... No, 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 no. Don't leave the aircraft carrier. No. Bad drone. Where are you going? Dummy. Where are you going? Also, I'm not entirely sure how I was able to pick up that aerial drone that I managed to splash into the water. You cannot dock manually. Huh. That's great. Oh, crap. Um, never mind. Why can I not dock manually, though? Why does the AI need to do that? Because I like driving the thing back onto my ship. I'm not touching anything, it's just taking control off the camera and barely even that what's this game about mixter you're in command of a carrier an assault carrier at that so not an aircraft carrier strictly but also one that carries smaller vehicles um, amphibious vehicles at that and you're trying to capture islands versus some unknown force i'm not sure who exactly it is that we're fighting all right so in this case we have all drones aboard now let's see how quickly I can beat this thing. Considering our positioning, we might be able to squeeze through here. Depth sonar is not quite going to like it, but screw it. Punch it. Full ahead flank, 100 knots. As one does in an aircraft carrier. <laughs> or any carrier for that matter. Starboard. It's a somewhat narrow channel, but I think we can make it through. Normally, I think you would not want to get here with an aircraft carrier. Alright, let's head to the second island then. Dead ahead. There. 
So I suppose that if you're playing this in multiplayer, now uh, the commanding officer would say, okay, uh, head to the second island, helm, steady course, 074, what I'm currently at, speed, all ahead flank. But considering we seem to have some sort of, I think, headwind, we're not actually able to get up to her full speed. You would tell your other officers what drones you want, and you would be... Potentially informing your webs officer to have a look at the island and start tagging units. Which is something I can potentially already do. Yeah, we got the albatrosses parked over there and the rest is deeper in the ship. Alright. There's another comms array over there. I suppose that's the objective. Not seeing anybody yet. I should be launching a drone. Why am I trying to rely on the sensors of this ship? I should be launching a drone. A1, deploy. Ah, Elwood's now mine. Oh, what is that? It looks like Cerebus is more heavily protected, and Carissa is even worse. Alright. Okay, so this crane is bringing up the plane, bringing up the drone, I think. That's a hostile surface vessel, another carrier. Oh! I'm going to also launch the second drone then and have a look at that. Up you go. No? There we go. You know you can order the materials for delivery, but you need to set up the logistics. Inventory logistics screen, second, and two vehicle loadout screens, and a ship log. Oh, I think I might need to slow down here. I think we beached. Um, reverse. Does that work at all? Yes, it does. Oh, there goes the drone. Excellent. There goes our drone. Turn a bit more. Ran headfirst into that island at 100 knots. Surprised the carry didn't take any kind of damage from that. Hold on, did that get shot down? They can shoot your drones out of the sky. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I think that's exactly what happened. Not too fast now. So is there something else out there then? Is that where the enemy aircraft carrier is? Uh, no. Give me nav. Here. Vehicle control. That's Elwood. There, albatross. Uh, orders. Zoom around, or zip around. No, actually, not that far. Just kind of stay at that altitude. And I can say altitude 1,000... 1,500. Oh, you can do that per waypoint. That's nice. All waypoints, 1,500. And circle. There we go. Now he understood it. Excellent. So this way the drone can hopefully get us some information. Let's have a look at what it can see. Uh, gimbal. Manual control. 
Stabilization. Manual. Is that the place? I think we're on the farthest point away from the island at the moment. So I cannot very well see anything. Is that a vehicle? Use tap to show a map, yeah. No, the map's... No, the drone's too far away. Although, no, actually, this is... This is the island that I'm looking for. It doesn't look like a whole lot of threats on... Oh, actually. Yep, there is a threat. Tagged. Anything else roaming around down there? Yep, there. Oh, don't... Don't fear off so much. 30%, 40 percent, 50, 60... 70, 80, 90, done. No, it wasn't done yet. Hold on. It also goes slower when you're moving away from it. Lost it. I lost the tag on both, I think. If you press T again, it goes into tracking mode. There. So there's one vehicle, there's the second one, third. Nothing on this perimeter. Yes, Ghost, I can see your chats, but I'm too busy playing the game at the moment. Where's that drone gone? Where are you? I saw you moving off in this direction. That's just water. Here it is. It's hiding in the woods. Nope. Hold. There. Requesting support. Ah, so now the carrier is firing? No, I think the carrier is not fighting yet. Cycle weapon. Missile, infrared. Infrared, infrared, cannon, cannon. Alright, let's go back to our aircraft carrier and see if I can shoot anything at them. Viewing scope. Manual. We have our targets. Cycle weapon. Flare. Artillery. Guided missile. I'll take a guided missile. Fire. Unavailable. Fine. Why's my missile unavailable? Shouldn't just be... Am I too far away or what? Am I not heading in the right direction? I need to turn on... Oh, I need to turn on the guns. Cruise missiles. Torpedoes. Flare launcher. Guess not. Disable the flare launcher. Thank you. Um, so, manual. Cycle weapon. Guided missile. Fire. Oh, we're tagging something else? Hold on. There are four different targets down there.
unavailable. Why is my guided missile unavailable? It is armed. You have to arm it. I did though, right? It's a cruise missile. That's the deck lights. I can turn those off since it's daytime. And we're still doing a very slow four knots. Port turn. Helm resets automatically. I don't have a lock. Oh! CRS missile. Okay. Oh, I was trying to use the guided missile and didn't have a lock. Right. I mistook guided in the sense that it was a guided missile, a guided cruise missile. Uh, manual R. There, CRS missile. That one. Alright, you're gonna get it. Missile away. There we go. That's more like it. Can I very quickly get over to my drone? Because I want to see what sort of impact that thing makes. You. Uh, camera. Quick. One. Gimbal. R. T. Hello, island? Here. Jeez, the visibility is terrible. Okay, it's time to get you down lower. I cannot see anything at this altitude. Albatross, again. Not sure if I actually took it down or not. Questing support. Oh, you can just launch missiles from here. Okay. There goes the missile. Bottom left hand side of the screen. Is that even going to the same target? Where are you going? Yep, there goes my missile. It's going completely off course. Good learning experience, this. Seeing what's what. Carrier stopped. We got 30 torpedoes standing by. Let's not have the torpedoes stand by at all. Does it say anywhere how many missiles I have? Stock. Heavy cannon. No, that's a, a turret 4 or something. Hardpoint missile 1? Is that it? It's tracking your cursor. Oh, it's laser designated missile. Right. I thought it has locked onto the target and I can just forget about it. Nope. I need to be controlling that thing, that missile. Live and learn. Camera. Oh, it's a Cyclos. Got it. Come on. Connect already. There we go. Lock mode. That's better. These guys are all sitting together. So if I request support now, I can probably launch a missile and toss it on their heads. Let's keep it locked on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Drone missile reached a new waypoint. Missile inbound, question mark. 
Hello? Yes, there's the missile. Get those guys. Missile. Yep, there it comes. Bango. Support complete. Three targets destroyed. There we go. A small convoy here. Missile impact. Perfect. Oh, I was hoping that these guys were not going to very quickly disperse. Oh, they might still not do it. Missile out. Uh, actually, I want to hit him over there because these guys are close together. I might be able to splash them both with one hit. So if you're not having any sort of air defense on your island and this thing is going to scout you and throw missiles at you, then you're going to be in trouble. Bingo. So I can also cycle weapons. Oh, not until this thing is finished, I think. Come on. Missile 700 meters. It seems to be some sort of top attacking missile. Alright, there's one more. Carrier gun. Requesting support. I think the gun is now locking on. So the carrier just fired a burst of five shells and hit him. There's another guy over there. Another burst of five shells complete. Beautiful. I think there's no other drone on this place. My drone doesn't seem to want to lock onto anything else. Might have gotten them all. Okay. So I think that at this point, I can launch the drones in relative safety and tell them to start capturing the place. Um, let's see who carries what again. You're the capture drone? No, you're the cannon drone. Zero three. That's a seal. Zero two. Walrus with the virus bots. Okay, you're going. Or can I modify the seal? Because the seal is supposedly faster. Um, here, take an anti-air cannon. For no particular reason, I want you to switch to virus bots. So that's Sierra one, a seal vehicle. Is there any way that I can... No, I cannot re-equip an air vehicle because they're both airborne. Are they? No, one of them got shot down. That was the problem. Alright, so launch Sierra 1. Surface 1. And then we're going to take Surface 1 up to this place and capture it. So Surface 1 should probably be going off... The carrier, there we go. Alright. There's a gun right on the deck. Yes, you can see it there. Let me put the deck lighting on it. Uh, spotlight deck. There, that's the gun. Right there. I think it's a 127. Not very spectacular, but it gets the job done. Maybe build a helicopter drone for us. Can you do that? Vehicle loadout. Uh, Alpha 1. Oh yes, you can! Nice. So a Razor Bill is a... Helo. And we can equip it with infrared countermeasures. Seems like a pretty good idea. We can have a uh, smoke launcher... 
And nothing else on those hard points. But on here, we can have 20 milliliter auto cannons, rocket pods, bombs, more bombs, lots of bombs, missiles, infrared, laser guided missiles, TV guided missiles, torpedoes, torpedo countermeasures, torpedo noise generators, I think, noise makers, TV guided missiles, external fuel tanks. Good lord, you got a lot of customization here. Uh, rocket pods. And a 200mm auto cannon. Alright, it's moving to equip. So this should be going well. Good grief. I'm going to turn off the Streamlabs bot for a second because it's driving me nuts. It's deleting everything. Oh, Razor Bill is a long-range missileer. It is not meant for direct combat. Okay. Still being equipped. That's the seal. Yeah. 47%. Alright. It's really fragile. Okay, what other chassis do I have then? I'm not seeing the other ones. These are the Albatross, Scout Wings, Fast Jet Aircraft. Oh, here. Heavy Lift Rotor. The Petrel. So I suppose I need to request the Petrel from this screen. Uh, that's munitions. Here, Petrel. I would like one of these. Just give me a few. And they take 35,000 something. Ah. Kilograms? Pending order. So, does that mean that I can now see the... Um, the barge moving? Because there was a barge here somewhere. There. Does that thing drop off? You can't request them without an air chassis factory. Oh. How does one get one of those? Why is this drone taking forever to take off? Is it stuck again? Oh no, there it is. Hold on, that looks really weird. That's not the same thing I'm getting from the hollow map. Or no, it is actually. It's the way path, or it's, it's the path that the thing has gone to. Or yeah, the, the thing that the path has taken. There we go. That's it. All right. Uh, wait. Let's have a look. Go to large logistics screen. Got it. Um, click on the map. And click the, drag the island you captured and place that I spawned from. Ah, here, warehouse. Sorry. Uh, select the barge, click it, and drag it to the warehouse. Done. Also from map screen, the island you selected, you can click on it and order items. Oh, you can order a surface chassis here. The walrus chassis are locked, but I can order seal chassis. Uh, I'll take 10. They're taking 20 seconds to produce. There, refitting. Huh. And then you can drag the warehouse to the carrier. And I suppose you can also drag this to the... Oh, it's one or the other. Right. It's one or the other. So this one's producing ten of the, the seal vehicles. And that way I can have more and more and more on the carrier. And what does the bar do exactly? Click chassis to warehouse. Join the factory to the... Oh! There we go. 
That makes sense. The chassis are being supplied to the warehouse. And then from the warehouse, I get everything delivered to the carrier. And if I capture this place, I can build the air chassis. I can build utility. And there I can build a barge, I think. Warehouse can only deliver. Gotcha. So does that mean that the warehouse now has a supply of... Seals? No, not yet. Where does the barge fit into all of this? Now go to stock. Okay. So from here... I can probably have a look at... Seal chassis. Pending order. 10. The barge, or the barge transports items from one to another. Aha. Uh -huh. So I now have a pending order for 10 seal chassis. And then do I need to tell the barge to do anything useful? It's idle. Right, so if I go to the map. Now, if I did this correctly, it's going to move here, pick up the chassis, and move it from there to here. Hmm. When am I going to upload the last episode of David's March? It's coming tomorrow. Unfortunately, it's a shorter episode. But it, I, well, I hope it's going to make you laugh. It's a good one. Difference between a walrus, a seal, and a bear. Um, I think one's heavier than the other. Light Scout is the seal. Walrus, all purpose. Bear, heavy. So probably slower. And they can only do 40 kilometers an hour. That seems odd. Considering how fast my vehicle is. Hold on. Seal destroyed? What? No, it didn't get destroyed. Did it get stuck? What's this drone doing? I can already see the strategic considerations that you might have. Like you're going to quickly capture an island and then have uh, a couple of seals do that. But when you're trying to assault an island, maybe the bear vehicles are better. Oh, uh, what are you... How did you even pull that off? How did you pull this off? How do you flip over? What the hell? Drone. Give me eyes in the sky. What is going on with my other drone? No, I don't need man control of the vehicle. I need man control of the gimbal. Uh, it should be down there. I can't see that. You can right your overturned vehicles by nudging it with another. Hmm. Seal, speedy boy, walrus, jack of all trades, bear, absolute unit. Okay, <laughs> that's the summary. The shore was too steep. Oh, right. This is why you need a crew. Because a crew member, like a normal player... Well, if it was me, I probably still managed to flip it over, but... Most regular people would actually be able to drive these things up onto a slope and then get them delivered to where they need to go, which would be over there. So in this case, I would need to manually write the vehicle. Lovely. And these are virus drones? Yeah. The virus bots are trying to capture, I think. But... I think because they're in the water... <laughs> I think they're in the water, they can't do it. <laughs> Great. Okay. 
How's my logistics op coming along? That's the barge, yes? Did the barge now drop off the stuff that I ordered? Just to see if I understand what's happening. Stock. Seals. Pending order. Still. So it seems like they're still not complete, that order. Map. What's the barge doing? Is the barge only now moving towards the... Oh! Right, the barge is now moving to me. With the seal order, I think. So now I can get the seals deployed through the vehicle loadout once they have been delivered to the carrier. Yeah, they warned me that this game did not come with a tutorial as of yet. And this is the result. Check the feel of the flying drone. That's a good point. What's the feel of the albatross like? Not great. Come home. Uh, that is the stern. I wonder which direction they take to land. It should be coming in from over there and then land like that, I think. Or did they did they land from the back of the carry landing from the back of the carry would make much more sense. Landing from the back, then stopping and being picked up by the elevator and going down. Right. So what's this guy doing? Stern to bow. Yeah, exactly. I think he might be ditching altitude. The albatross here. There's our barge. That thing seems pretty speedy. Look at that thing go. I think this barge is actually faster than uh, my amphibious vehicles. Then again, they can optimize this thing to be floating. That makes sense. That makes sense. Alright, looks like the albatross is coming in. Yep, here it comes. Welcome back. Perfectly executed landing. Instantly it spins around. Or is it... Is it moving in reverse? Yeah, it's slowly reversing across the carrier deck. Clever. And then it's going to get over there and get refueled. Alright, and the barge? The barge is almost here. Is it going to dock with the stern of the carrier? Is it going to drop off the vehicles at the edge of it? Let's see. Barge? Barge! Okay. Can I launch virus balls from a flying unit? I don't know. I'd have to check that. Open the door. There! It's scooting off without the cargo on it, so I suppose I now have them. It's unloading. Okay. So, it's like chassis. Why do I only have two? I thought I had ordered ten. Does this thing not transport more than two vehicles at a time? Yeah, it still has... Oh. 
it still has eight pending orders or a pending order for eight more so the barge is limited to having two of these on there right we're getting somewhere select chassis those uh, let's again try to oh oh no <laughs> I don't have the virus bolts anymore uh, my dear barge could I order a couple of bots? Cancel the order. I need to order... If I can order those. Come to think of it. Nope. I probably can't order them. They're utility. But I don't have anything that produces utility. That's what I'm trying to capture. Here, the next island is going to be producing utilities. So, if I'm understanding this correctly, I cannot build another virus module. So, the only thing that I can try and do is have the other guy push the vehicle over. And then maybe get it back aboard, rearm it. And see if that will work. Alright, so, launch 5. I have 20 at the warehouse? What? Hold on. Fires control unit. Turrets. Hard points. Ammo. It's large munitions. Small munitions. In warehouse. None. Scroll down. Oh, it's this one. It's not the virus control one. Okay. My bad. I'm going to order five of these. Or just, you know what, just order all of them. Um, carrier stock five. Well, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. All right. At the least, we can send vehicle five over now. I like that these status displays maintain what they were doing. Those are the actual bots. Right, so what does the virus control module do then? If these are the actual bots. Also, I'm curious to see... No, don't worry. What I can do with these aerial units. That's the razor bill. This is the albatross. Ah, uh, yes. Missiles. Yeah, that's the whole shebang that we saw on the helo as well. And over here it has the gimbal camera, which I suppose we could also put on the helo? Or is its, it's hard point's not big enough? It needs a bigger hard point for that. Still, let's launch A1 and see what happens. A1's the helicopter, the rotor wing aircraft. There goes the elevator, down. Your walrus has a virus ball already on it. You're right. What was the walrus? Was that Sierra 3? Sierra 2? No, I took them off of one. This is an anti-air cannon. This one doesn't have it. Or at least not anymore. Sierra 2. Now, Sierra 2, I took the, um, the virus bots off and I installed an anti-air can. So I kind of stole it to put it on what I thought was going to be the faster vehicle. Aww. Gee, look at the size of that thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello? Hold your position. The size of that rocket pod this is like a first year high school student with a backpack. The backpack's bigger than the student. What the hell? <laughs> That's amusing. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's take control of that thing.
Razor Bill, move forward. Now it's Operation Flip the bot. Yes. Let's see what Mother Seal can find. It's taking a while to connect these things. It's taking a long while to connect with this one. Ah, there we go. Middle control of the vehicle. I don't have a zoom on this one. Yeah, no wonder that my other drone flipped. Frequency's open. Because it's terrible. Terrible terrain. Hmm. Osprey, thank you for the donation, man. It's really kind. Deploy one below deck and put torpedoes on it. It's even more amusing. Okay. I should be almost on top of the drone. Oh, it's right there. Right in front of me. Okay. So, can we flip this thing over? I think the drone actually selected a pretty decent spot. It's not terrible. Move. We're gonna have to bash this thing a few times. Come on. It's moving. Whoa, I, t <laughs> I skipped over it. <laughs> Turn. Turn. Where is it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's behind me. I should have put some sort of gun on this so that I can at least get an overview of what's happening with the turret. I don't even have that on this vehicle. Well, at least we managed to get it up the hill a little bit. And... Flip! Nope. Well, it moved. Sort of. It is trying to do something. These things look like bugs. You know, the, the ones that you sometimes find with their legs up in the air. Going, help me, help me. There, it's trying to do something. Push it into the water so it'll flip over automatically. Okay, so I shouldn't be pushing it onto the land, I should be pushing it into the water. Got it. This was definitely the game as the devs had intended it. Absolutely. All bullshit aside, I think the game has potential. I have yet to try the multiplayer. It's not something I'm going to look into today, but um, some other time maybe. Maybe when the game's a bit further along. And with a multiplayer team, this could be really good. Come on. I'm not giving up on this drone yet. Get into the water. If this is indeed the same sort of Stormworks studio, you sometimes just have to manhandle it. At least that worst worked in Stormworks. Come on. Move. Move. Unfortunately, I think that the camera or the, the virus drones are not quite going to be working. Am I still... Yeah, I'm still pushing it. <laughs> Imagine dreaming of commanding a Nimbus-class supercarrier, but your job is to flip over dumb drones. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 
Come on. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes. Good man. Now, don't flip me over. No, 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 no. Hold on. I need to park this drone out of the way. Into the water to ensure it doesn't flip over. I need to take care of the other drone. I need to take control of that one. Not the virus bots. That seal. Camera. Go cancel its path. Yes. That's what I should be doing. Cancel its path. Cancel. Um, action. No, not actions. Which one are you? This one. Go. But the annoying bit is the virus bots have already been deployed. Or at least they should be. But it does not seem like they're able to get anywhere. Okay. So let's assume for a second that I can still rearm this thing. And has my battle barge been able to successfully drop off new drones yet? Do I have those? Virus module. In warehouse? Carrier stock. Yes, I have new ones. Uh, surface. I'm just going to make this Sierra 8. Make it distinct. Payload. No. Out of stock. But I'm confused. Fires module. Carrier stock. Nine. So I did have some of them dropped off because I ordered 20. Pending order for 16. Fires modules are the mods them are, are the bots themselves. Okay. Let's see, Sierras. Which one do I have deployed? Because I can deploy one... I could deploy two, three, and eight. Does one of them already have the loadout? Eight's the one that I was just prepping. This one has the gun. Nothing, please. And this one has the anti-air gun as well. So, which one has the stuff? Hmm. Oh, Sierra 1 has the deployer. Drone 1 has the deployer. Hold on. No. No, 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 no. Don't tell me it happened again. Hold on. I'm... Oh. Trathpine... The, 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 the pathfinding might need some work. It flipped over again. You had never had this many issues when you played. Well. You may call me the spiffing stealth at this point. Because I managed to break a lot of stuff at this point. Still, I quite like it. Yes, there are bugs. Yes, there are things that are not quite right. Yes, there are flipping drones. Uh, no, there's not a tutorial yet. But then again, that opens up the room for me to make a tutorial eventually. If they don't do it already. And I think that playing this in a multiplayer team against several other people on multiplayer and maybe eventually in a, I don't know, a tournament sort of factory or a tournament sort of way, that could be interesting. That could be really nice.
I think I'm hearing my helo drone. Uh, where's the other one? Over here. Oh, the barge just made another deployment. So, I think it tried to get up the... the island again. Got itself stuck on something and flipped over again. Is it there? Should be straight. Whoa. All of a sudden, we're in driving mode. This is probably the thing that's bugging the AI. Sometimes it's in driving mode, sometimes it's in, in water mode, in float mode. Hello? Where are you? There you are. Oh, you got yourself even more stuck this time. Congratulations. You managed to make it worse. And now I managed to make it worse, worse. I think. No, I'm still moving. How am I going to get it out of here? Because this thing is... Well, maybe I can move behind it and push it into the water. Turn. No! No. That was not the turn that I was referring to. <sighs> and then there were two. This is where all drones go to die. This little nook right here. This is where it ends for them. <laughs> hmm. Oh well. I hope you guys are having a laugh out of it. <laughs> we need one extra drone. A drone that's able to just pick up crashed drones. Like, I don't know, an SH-60 or a Sea King or something like that. That's able to just lift stuff up, bring it back to the carrier. I don't know, maybe impose some sort of penalty for it that's capable of not let's say, promoting behavior where you just crash your drones and hope for the best. Something like that. A Chinook, yeah, something like that. Right. Um, I think I have seen, for now, enough of this game. The uh, experience has been interesting. I very much would like to try and play this with the guys. Uh, I imagine this... Well, the Sparky going nuts with this. Uh, <laughs> at as playing this very serious. Gothris, Gosrith playing this quite serious as well. Uh, Rip. Rip's going to be great on this. It's going to be interesting. Anyway, um, I'm going to be ending the stream here a bit earlier. Uh, Tomorrow is going to be another RimWorld stream because we still have to have another look at the colony, even though we weren't doing that well lately. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for joining. Thank you for helping me to play this game. If you want to play it, there is a link down below in the description where you can get the demo for yourself. And, of course, um, when the game does come out, I'll probably feature it again. So you can also wait for that. So thank you for joining, thank you for watching, and I shall see you guys hopefully tomorrow, same time, for RimWorld. Have a good week, or a, a final piece of your weekend. See you guys soon.